National Secretary of the Miyeti Allah Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Makban Baba Otman Ngizama, has said, Fulanis are themselves not isolated from the challenges facing the country. He said, like everyone else, Fulanis are also affected by insecurity, poverty, and many other issues troubling the countries. Ngezama, who stated this in an interview with Saturday Sun, said, most of the Fulanis engaging in criminal activities in the country are largely victims of circumstances. He said the level of extreme poverty, misfortunes, and other issues is responsible for the misbehavior of those engaging in crimes. The Sultan of Sokoto and President General, Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Al Haji Muhammad Saad Abubakar Fari, had disclosed that most of those arrested for kidnappings in the country are Fulanis, but noted that the few arrested criminals do not mean all Fulanis are criminals. Seven to eight kidnappers arrested are Fulanis, but that doesn't mean every Fulani is a criminal. No, they are not. He said in a comment during a recent meeting of the Miyeti Allah Cattle Breeders Association. I am a Fulani and I am not a bad man. I am also not a criminal. Those engaged in one form of crimes or another are across the country. It is not proper to refer to any tribe to describe individual crime, he added. Ngezama, who also acknowledged the involvement of some Fulani in criminal activities in the country, said those involved were exploited because of their level of poverty, among other challenges. We have lost over 3 million cows as a result of cattle rustling. This has made so many families to become poor. And because the children are poor, with no education, ignorance, the prevalence of droughts and proliferation of arms, so they become easy prey for initiator initiation into crimes. This is the reason whenever you catch them, if you interview them, they will tell you that 5 million naira was collected as ransom, but they were given 20,000 or 50,000 out of the money. That goes to show you that there are some big guys behind the whole thing. That goes to show you that the ignorance, the poverty level of those, of these youths, are being exploited. That is why most of them have become criminals because of idleness, lack, and maybe arms have become very easy to get, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Is this supposed to be a defense for the Fulani and headsmen and uh, those perpetrating crimes? Are there no people from other uh, regions who are also victims of poverty? To a very large extent, the people of the South have been much more um, dealt with by this uh, poverty issue than any other region, as it were, under this administration. The people of the South have suffered more than the Northerners in this particular situation of cause of uh, poverty, as it were. So if the Magban is uh, justifying the uh, Fulani headsmen for going into uh, kidnapping, armed robbery, and so on and so forth as a result of 
poverty, then I think it is sad and unfortunate because it doesn't cut it at all. It is not a justification. It is not worth it at all. Other uh, tribes, regions are also affected by the issue of poverty and other vices that has hit the country. But they have not decided to uh, take this route that the Fulani headsmen have taken. It is so rampant that it is the Fulani headsmen that are the most kidnappers across the country. And they are the ones that are armed, carrying weapons here and there almost every time. So something needs to be done, something needs to be uh, carried out to uh, address this issue as it were, because we cannot continue like this. And these people cannot continue to, they cannot continue to carry on like this. And they are not even arrested or they are not prosecuted as it were. They are being shielded according to various reports. They have been shielded, and it is sad and unfortunate that uh, things like this continue to happen. It is on record that the Fulani headsmen are the ones perpetrating this evil. So they cannot tell us that they are hungry or poverty as it were. Are they experiencing poverty much more than people from the South? I don't think so, because when they can beg and get food to eat, as we see them on the streets, a southerner cannot even make up his mind to go and start begging. So why exactly are they the ones perpetrating the evil across the country is the question that needs to be answered. Well, guys, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected, but that is just the truth. We cannot continue like this. It is not enough reason poverty is not enough reason to for these guys to gamble into the kind of evil that they are carrying out it is not the enough uh, it is not acceptable and it cannot be acceptable so this is wrong and uh, it's not uh, acceptable it's not an excuse that is acceptable because every region a tribe you know is experiencing poverty at different levels, even probably worse than what the Northerners seem to be going through. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.